We are catching up with Morbius, Christy, and Alonzo here because we are dedicated to our craft. <laughs> Alonzo, we, what's it about? We do it for you. Uh, okay, so Jared Leto is Dr. Michael Morbius, who in Marvel Comics is referred to as the living vampire. I went from dying to being more alive than ever. It worked. Not exactly. I have increased strength and speed and some form of bat radar. What else can I do? because he's not undead. No, he is a scientist with a bloodborne illness. And in his attempts to cure said illness, he uh, injects himself with DNA from vampire bats, which make him very strong and able to hang from the ceilings. But oops, also give him an appetite for human blood. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. um, good thing is that Morbius has invented a synthetic blood that people have been using. And that wards off the hunger for a little while but less and less each time you use it bad news is that his very rich best friend played by matt smith uh decides he wants in on this action because he's got the same blood disease and he's very happy to eat up all of new york if morbius doesn't stop him. so i took a couple of 12 year olds to this movie over the weekend one mom of, whom, of the year one of him was my own child um because i'm a really good mom and they both hated it Oh, wow. Okay. Like, it's not for kids. It's not for adults. It's not for anybody. It looks like shit. It's impossible to see what's going on. Um, it is dark, but not in an interesting, artful way like no. the Batman. It's just like in inscrutable. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's 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 murky in in visual and, you know, figurative senses uh, <laughs> like Jared Leto plays a character who, you know, you expect in a movie like this, oh, you know, he's 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 weak and he's battling disease, and then he takes the the, the you know, the, this is like the, the plot of a million like 1950s B movies. You know, he tampers in God's domain and he takes the 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 formula and it turns him into you know like the big strong person. But then there's a there's a there's always an, an underside to it. But like he is already so goth, like he's already got the <laughs> shoulder length hair. He's wearing black ponchos. He's wearing black surgical gloves, which I didn't even know they made. Um, <laughs> he gets so, them custom made. Yeah, so it's like so like like there's nowhere there's not any. It, it's not like he's this mild mannered nebbish and then suddenly becomes this big florid creature of the night. He's already you know like uh, you know Mister wearing black all the time. I don't know it. It it could have been. It could have been a lot of things. It could have been sort of a superhero movie. It could have been sort of a horror movie or even just like a mad scientist movie. I'm down for that. And it's a lot of nothing. And it also has to function as a cog amid not the MCU, I guess. No, the but Sony like part the of the Sony verse. Yeah. Uh, we need to talk about the credit sequences because <laughs> yeah. this has been out for a few days now. So yes. if you don't want to hear about them, you know skip this part whatever it's in but. the trailer like michael keaton is listed second on the imdb page this is it's, the worst kept secret in the world it's so weird okay so he's not in the movie at all mm. and then finally at the end you see him like magically appearing in a cell in a right. jail cell and then there's a second credit sequence where morbius is driving to the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night at a very specific time and like here comes vulture with his handmade rough hewn wings he comes right. fluttering down and literally says the most clunky thing to try to like scotch tape it all together like hey you don't like spider-man i don't like spider-man let's team up against him nowhere in the preceding hour and a half did anybody ever say the word spider-man no, no. I, I, even like the, there were some things in the trailer that got cut. Like there was some, there was a, he walks by like some sort of poster of Spider-Man on the wall and somebody graffitied murderer on it. The Daily Bugle is used throughout this movie and there are no pictures of Spider-Man. You know, I mean, it's, just, <laughs> it's, yeah, it is so tacked on. It's like, but by that point, the movie has already failed on its own merit. So oh. yeah, it also fails as an attempt to tie this into the whole you know, would be secret sticks venom part of the Marvel movies, but that's just a, that's its own problem. Just as a movie, this yeah. is a hot, bland, nothing, nothing, nothing of a movie because you you set up these characters who are barely there. You have like Jared Harris as their doctor and mentor when these two characters are children, and then we meet up with them like twenty five <laughs> years later, and Jared Harris has not aged a nope. second. Maybe he's also um, a vampire. 
Maybe that would be the <laughs> twist that would have made this much more interesting. Um, you know, it, it, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, there's no narrative drive. The, the finale is the sort of like the, the finale you always get in these movies, which is the big battle, but it's even by big finale battle standards, it's so CG and airless and artificial. And the rushed. Only, it's and so rushed. quick. All yes, of a sudden it happens like, and it's like, it's done. And we're done. <laughs> Adria Arjona plays uh, Martine Bancroft. And that's the one character in this movie I found remotely interesting. She is Morbius's love interest, but she is also a doctor and she's trying to help him out through these experiments, even though they're super shady and they're doing them in a boat in international waters. Did you see the name of that boat, by the way? Oh, I forgot what it was. What is the it? The SS Mornow. Oh, that's cute. Because we just reviewed yes, Nosferatu. We did. For Patreon. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah, this, this, this is, I don't know. I don't know if this is a movie that was ever good and then just got hacked apart by like studio decisions and delays and whatever, or if it was just always kind of a half-assed, but it's a half-assed. It was directed by Daniel Espinoza, who did Life and who yes. did Safe House. Safe House. Both Life of which was were pretty cool. They were both pretty mediocre. I thought. I mean, I didn't. I'm not mad at either of those movies, but they were both just kind of like, oh yeah, I saw that. You know, there's a story in Up Rocks that we'll put a link to down below where Mike Ryan, the writer, interviewed Daniel Espinosa after some of the reviews had already come out and it was already just getting destroyed. And he was kind of cagey about whether this movie is the one that he actually intended to share with the world. Sure, um, no, but I, he, I'm but sure he, it but he, he clarifies <laughs> though a rumor that. Jared Leto had remained in character constantly on set, which meant that if he had to go to the bathroom, he had the crutches and would like shamble slowly over to the bathroom from wherever he was. So the whole process would take like 45 minutes every single time. And finally they came up with a compromise where they got him a wheelchair. He could still remain in character, but he would sure. do it a little bit more quickly. Uh, you know, I'm always reminded of uh, Laurence Olivier on the set of Marathon Man asking Dustin Hoffman, why don't you try acting, dear boy? It's so much easier. <laughs> there has been a certain glee in taking this movie apart because it was such an odd premise to begin with and it's been kicked down the road so many times and it's just this, it's this strange phenomenon amidst its little subculture of like, you know, Marvel movies. And, you know, is there is there an excess in glee at taking it apart? Maybe. Are some of the reviews going too far in, in, in trashing it? Perhaps. <laughs> but it is, it's like, I, I'm not even like mad at this movie. It's just, I will forget it in a week. It's just such a, it's a, it's a lump of mediocrity. It is, it is empty and bland and rushed and soulless. I'm saying two. I said three and a half, which seems generous, but I don't know. I did like, like I said, I like the lead actress, but yeah, it's uh, in a week. I will be like, what was Morbius again? 